This month is actually the first time ever Americans have watched a former president be put on trial. Trump at that defendant's table with his lawyers, including a prominent one, Boris Epstein, a veteran of the Trump White House and campaign, who has become central to Trump's activities since 2020. He was in court with Trump, as you see there, along with the lead defense counsel, two days in a row, just as he was at the defense table at that first New York arraignment. His work quarterbacking for Trump comes after he joined and led many different efforts throughout 2020 attacking those election results that showed Trump lost. Now, we've been reporting on those efforts for years, including how, contrary to the initial impression, they involved not just mainly January 6th violence, but a host of other plots over those months and paperwork and elector fraud. And we've pressed Epstein on his role in those efforts, as well as his legal views, which, of course, are relevant as he is involved in all of this. And now here we are in this extremely busy week. As he is there, you see him working on his phone with the lead counsel, trying to help Trump stay out of a New York prison. But what we can tell you as part of our special, and with all this news, you may have missed it, for the very first time, Epstein joined the ranks of Trump lawyers who need criminal lawyers of their own, Arizona prosecutors indicting him for elector fraud charges for a host of Trump allies. Boris Epstein is, continues to have a prominent role in this 2024 campaign. Mm -hmm. Rudy Giuliani, Boris Epstein, John Eastman, Mark Meadows, names we've heard in the past, suddenly back in the news. This is the first time he's been indicted, but also a former Trump aide, who I should note remains to this day one of his closest top advisors. For Mr. Epstein, this is obviously a big deal, and like anyone else indicted, he's legally presumed innocent. It's also, however, a big deal and a live issue in this New York case. Defendant Trump using Boris as a lawyer there. And in reporting on all these issues, we have interviewed Epstein repeatedly, including when those early subpoenas hit. When you say you will provide evidence, does that mean your intent is to cooperate? I'm happy to provide evidence of the overwhelming fraud that happened in the 2020 election. Was your plan to try to force a vote in the House to reverse the election outcome. I had absolutely no idea that there was going to be any violence whatsoever at the Capitol. There was absolutely a plan and a process for there to be uh, to, to be challenges right. to the electoral so count you, vote. Just, is, that, is that a yes? Can I, can, is that a yes? The Electoral Count Act lays out a process to challenge electoral votes. Okay. There was a process that was undertaken. And you're on record. And so we pressed on those issues and questions. Epstein now is indicted along with Giuliani, Meadows, Jenna Ellis, John Eastman, lawyers who had to defend whether or not they became criminals, plus to Kenneth Chesbrough and Trump himself, named among the unindicted co-conspirators in that same Arizona case charging Epstein. The New York Times also says he could be an unnamed co-conspirator in the Jack Smith case. The sixth spot has never been fully identified. The New York Times said that. We have not confirmed that. But we can confirm that Epstein participated in the elector plot because we questioned him on that all the way back then before some of these probes had gone much further. And we elicited a newsworthy admission. This was about one year after the January 6th insurrection. It was long before Jack Smith was active. We pressed on how these aides and even lawyers seem to become directly involved, not in just making arguments or defending things, which they are allowed to do, but in advancing active work that appeared to break the law, which could be indictable. And these leads that we built on, investigators followed them. So here we are in our special right now. I'm going to air that exchange and Epstein ultimately admitting his role in the elector plan, not defending its legality, but saying he did it with Giuliani. And that involved, let's recall, trying to deceive the government with blatantly fraud electors in states that Trump had lost, where the loss had been certified. And we're airing this in its full context, about 90 seconds from that original interview, and you will hear Epstein admit the very elector plan that he's now indicted for this week in Arizona. There's also been reporting about the attempt to seat uh, fraudulent electors. Um, is that something you ever worked on or would support, for example, in Michigan? That's so funny. It's not fraudulent electors.
Uh, sure. Chairman Maddox, quote, we fought to seat the electors. The Trump campaign asked us to do that. Uh, did you ever make calls like that uh, regarding what you're calling these alternate electors? Yes, I was part of the process to make sure there were alternate electors. So your view, just, just for the record here, is that you could, as a lawyer to the Trump campaign, seat these electors in states where the process, the state results, as overseen by the independent courts, as approved by the Supreme Court, found that Biden won. And you don't see any chance there that that could be against the law, Boris? The Supreme Court never ruled on the merits. The cases were so weak, they never reached the merits. It's not like Bush v. Gore, where they had the full case. They didn't even see, and that included many Trump-appointed justices, a reason to even go there. It was there. a different makeup. It was a different makeup of the court, and more and more information is coming out every day out of Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. That if you are aiding and abetting the seating of fraudulent electors or voter fraud, that not only is that potentially against the law, but then you also would lose the lawyer-client privilege under the crime fraud exception for your, for your client, <laughs> the Trump campaign. I will tell you that the perpetration of fraud was absolutely done, and it was done by the Democrats. Everything that was done was done illegally by the Trump legal team, by, according to, to the rules and under the leadership of, of Rudy Giuliani. There you have it. That was a big deal at the time, Epstein, admitting in our interview, in the back and forth, after we pressed him and showed the results and the examples and the other corroborating evidence, that he was in the elector plot. And these are states like Arizona where Trump had lost. So it looks a lot like government fraud.